Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to Dice Tower News Digest for November 7th, uh, 2019. Just a quick summary of the board game news each week. Okay, so first of all, uh, during a presentation at the setup day at Spiel 19, the Obdurk de Mauer won game innovation, ghosts and magnets. Kids games seem to sometimes have more innovation than adults games, so this is good to see. Queen Games is celebrating their anniversary with a limited edition game, The Queen's Collection. In this game, you're picking a queen game to play with the pawns of the queens. It sounds like super meta to me, but hopefully the game is good. Now, this one is maybe a little too technical that I'm not even sure I understand it, but Magic the Gathering is now Turing Complete. Well, according to Ars Technica, uh, computers... Uh, determining the difficulty, being able to program computers using Magic the Gathering cards. I'm not apt. I feel like these people are, are a lot smarter than I am. But as you go through this, it's pretty interesting to see what they're doing. At the end of the day, though, I think my question was, does it matter and who cares? I think, but it still was fascinating to read. Um, the board game market is expected to go at, grow at a CAGR of over 10% during the period of 2018 to 2024, according to researchandmarkets.com. Stuff like this I find always fascinating. Why not? Um, so, uh, but that's good, right? Positive news. The board game market's going to grow. Portal Games announced a few new items. We talked last week about the new standalone detective game, but I didn't. I neglected to mention they have Stronghold Undead, an expansion for Stronghold, and imminent promo sheets for Imperial Settlers, Roll and Write. Big news, Small World is being rethemed into Small World of Warcraft. That's right. So Days of Wonder and Blizzard games are working together. And from what I can tell, it looks like a fairly straight revision of Small World. I don't know how different it's going to be, but they're just taking out the races from Small World and putting in uh, you know, the World of Warcraft, different races and things like that. I don't know how different the games will be. I don't think it will be a one-to-one -one thing. We'll have to wait coming in 2020. Yellow Games has a few things. Um, there's Break the Code coming out. I had a chance to look at this game at the Essen Fair, kind of like a Code 777 type thing. Time Bomb Evolution, which originally started as Time Bomb, then was reprinted as Don't Mess With Cthulhu, now back with yellow as Time Bomb Evolution. And a new cooperative game called Crack and Attack from Antoine Bauza. I messed with this one a little bit. It was fun. The Spiel Essen Fair, we talked about that a bit. Turnstile attendance uh, was 209,000. So I don't know exactly how those numbers come out at the end. You can't divide that by four for the four days. Some people only come one or two days. Either way, a lot of people in total. This is 10% higher than the 2018 total, which was 190,000. Speaking of the Essen Fair, a couple things. First of all, Board Game Geek does a geek buzz there, so you can go check that out and see which games were the hottest. Now realize that even though some very hot games are on this list, sometimes the nearness of their booth, the proximity of the booth to the uh, Board Game Geek booth helps out a bit, and sometimes the fact that the game's easier to play at the fair. Either way, The Magnificent was the highest one on that list. Fair Play has been doing this even longer than Board Game Geek, but there you have to go write them down and definitely caters to a German audience, so they have a completely different list of games you can go check out from Spiel. In 2020, Asmodee Digital is launching adaptations of two board games, a Game of Thrones. That sounds like a lot of effort to put, I mean, that's a lot of work to put that one as a digital game, but that seems cool. And this will make Sam Healy happy, Blood Rage. A new expansion for Mystic Veil. Vale. Nemesis is coming out. So Mystic Veil vale just keeps trucking along. I wonder when it will surpass Dominion with expansions that come out. And then the first Chicago Transit-themed board game debuts this month. Uh, Transit Tees, this is an official manufacturer of their products, is going to launch the next big thing, the EL, the Chicago Transit Adventure. Now, normally I would blow this off, but looking at pictures of the board, it looked pretty cool. I kind of was hoping that it would just be on the underground Chicago, but either way, something to look forward to. And that's the news this week. I'll see you next time. I'm Tom Vassar. You've been watching Dice Tower News Digest. See you next time.